Hey guys, it's Joe from American Trucks and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Sprint Booster Power Converter fitting all 11 and newer F-150s. Now this is going to be the perfect little mod for you if you're unhappy with the way the throttle pedal in your truck responds and you're looking for an easy fix. Now in order for us to understand the Sprint Booster, we need to go back in time a little bit and talk about how throttle bodies used to work versus how they work in the modern day. Now, in the olden days, it used to be a true hard connection between the throttle pedal and the throttle body. As soon as you press the pedal down, there was either a linkage or a cable that told the butterfly valve to open up immediately. There's no slack or lag in between the two because it's a hard connection. Nowadays though, pretty much everything is driven by computers. So when you press the throttle pedal down, that sends a voltage to a computer, which then sends another one to the throttle body telling it to open up according to how far you press. That's all well and good. However, it does introduce a little bit of lag. Electricity travels fast, but you can definitely tell that lag in a drive-by wire car, a modern day car. Basically, it takes time for the computer to send that signal to the throttle body, and it could feel like the throttle is a little bit disconnected from the throttle body itself. Something like this is basically going to install in line with the harness that plugs into your throttle pedal. It's gonna up the voltage a little bit and that's going to trick the computer into sending a higher voltage to the throttle body and it's going to open up a little bit faster for you and help eliminate that drive-by wire lag that is so common with modern day trucks. And this one really allows you to dial in how your throttle pedal is going to feel once installed. It has three modes off, which is basically going to be your stock pedal response. And then we have the green light, which is sport. And then we have the red light, which is going to be basically as snappy as you can make the throttle pedal on your truck. Each of those modes has nine micro adjustments as well, allowing you to turn the response up or down. And like I said earlier, you can really dial this thing in exactly how you think a throttle pedal should respond. There's also a valet mode and a pedal lock. The valet isn't going to allow your truck to rev out to redline and the pedal lock, that's not going to allow your truck to come off of idle, which are two great tools to have on something like this. Now, one thing I do wanna to touch on is something like this it's not going to make horsepower, right? Once the throttle body is open 90 degrees, it's not gonna open any further. It's not going to allow any more air into your engine. But if you're unhappy with the way the throttle pedal feels, this is gonna be a great mod, even though it might not show up on a dyno. Pricing for this is gonna drop in right around the $300 mark. And again, this isn't going to make any power, but you're gonna know if you need something like this, it's gonna be for the guy that's just completely unhappy with the way the truck feels and they're looking for it to feel snappier, even though it might not necessarily be snappier. If this is something you need, I think 300 bucks is a great price to pay and it can go a long way if this is an issue that you're having with your F-150. The install is gonna be really, really easy. No modification, no wiring knowledge necessary to get this hooked up. We're gonna be installing this harness in before our throttle pedal, and then the switch just connects to that. We're gonna mount it up with the double-sided tape included in the kit, and then we're gonna do a little bit of wire management. Definitely a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. Should take you no longer than 10, 15 minutes to get hooked up. So without any further ado, let's hop down to the footwell on our F-150 and get this guy installed. So up the top of the throttle pedal, you're gonna see this electrical connector. All we're gonna do to disconnect that is pull up on the red release tab. You can see it popped up a little bit there. And then press in. And that should pop right off just like so. Then what we're gonna do is grab that Sprint booster plug that comes in the kit here. And we're basically just gonna loop that in before this harness gets onto our throttle pedal. So that should look just like so. And then we're just gonna take the other end of that and plug it onto the throttle pedal just like so and close down that red tab. Then we're gonna grab that harness and then on the back of that, you can see that white plug right there. We're just gonna take the wire on the end of the switch and plug that in. Now we just need to mount up this little control button panel here and the kit does come with some double-sided tape. So all we're gonna do, peel off the side, stick that on the back, 
peel off the other side. And you can stick that in place wherever you want. We're gonna go right there next to the cluster dimmer switch. That's usually a great spot. All that's left for us to do is wire manage this. You wanna make sure this wire stays out of the way of your pedals. The kit even includes some zip ties for you to do that. That's gonna be it for the install. There is one last thing though. You wanna make sure that that cable is nice and neatly tucked away. You don't want that getting tangled up in your pedals. And the kit even includes some zip ties for you to do that. But that's gonna do it for me. It's also gonna do it for the Sprint Booster Power Converter fitting all 11 and newer F-150s. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more like this one. Keep it right here at American Trucks for all things F-150.